Hey everybody, how's it going? Kazadun here, and we're back with some more Endless Space. This is not, in fact, my third time restarting this. I'm lying, it is indeed. Um, okay, so we've explored quite a bit here. We need to get down here, figure out... Actually, I think I can maybe... No, this guy's on auto-explore, so he's used up all his moves for the turn. Because I, I, I think this guy's got... Let's see, are there probes? No, yeah, this dude's got probes, so if I had moves left, I could have launched some probes down this way, but we're all out there. And also, we are in the process of colonizing uh, Cross 3. It's got about 10 turns until... What is this? Let's see. I guess it's we got 14 turns until we get one population. Then we'll maybe have more than an outpost. I'm not sure what happens when we get one population. Maybe we just have an outpost with one population. That's fine. One turn until ubiquitous surveillance is done, which allows us to build big data shipyards and exotic rations. Uh, not entirely sure what that does for us. These things give us, oh yeah, XP, and I can convert one, um, I guess population into 300 manpower is my guess. Let me see, is that right? Let me see you. Um, population, I cannot tell. It's just four, yeah, okay. That's population, that's what that signal, or that uh, symbol means. I think, always with these games, whenever you come in, the only thing you need to do to start off is to end the turn. So we're gonna do that. Okay, we've discovered the third, who are these guys? Unknown Empire. Okay. So this guy's going to be coming down here, but it looks like he may want to maybe colonize. Alright, we got Nihal 3. It's a small, inhospitable ash planet. So there's no sense getting there. And this one's also inhospitable. So the inhospitable ones, we will never be able to colonize. But then there are other planets, like this one, which we will eventually be able to colonize. Um... Let's see here. I believe this is the sad one, wasn't it? That, like, got destroyed? So eventually, I guess we'll be able to... It's unavailable, meaning eventually we can research something and colonize it. I'm learning! Alright, so that's done. We're now getting our Galactic Commodities Exchange. Why? Uh, to get us a marketplace so we can get new heroes and new types of units, I believe is what a marketplace is for. Uh, okay, that's fine. This guy, what are you? You're a scavenger, so you're... You're... Okay, I... Why Why do I have you here? Because I wanted to add... My my dude? Well, there's no sense in adding him to that. I want to build up at least a Zergling. Um, I could use another. So, and also... Let's see, we have another one here that's now colonized as well. So does that mean... That, that speeds up production? That's an interesting question. I can appoint a governor. I don't think I want to... Oh, of this whole system, you have a governor. Okay. So, this... I'm sorry, this is all very new to me still. So, okay, the governor is for this whole thing. So, this is like a province. Um, like what a province would be in the Total War games. Okay, I got it. So, it's a system, and then these are the planets on this system. See, so, so, ah, okay. And this also gives me titanium per turn, so I can likely build another. It requires five titanium. I currently have two. Does this give me titanium? So this thing, I'm sorry, I just need to know, this does not give me titanium. It doesn't have any population or growth. So that's a little bit weird. I'm not, okay, no food. No nothing happening here. What? So, how does that work? I can probably... Okay, there we go. And now... And now it's got 12 foods, so we are getting... Okay, we've got one population here. Oh, okay. I see, so you're... Ah, oh, okay, interesting. So I can bring you over here. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting, okay. Does the amount of money change? So, right now we're getting 45. 
it went down to 43. It looks like everything just went down bigly. Okay, we lose a bit of production, but we gain money and science, which I think is useful. Okay, I sort of understand how that works now. There's also Rigel down here, and it's got... Rigel 2 is a colonizable planet here. I can't zoom in any further, apparently, because I don't own this system and I don't have anybody in orbit. It's good to know. We've got Cepheus. Nothing to be... Nothing to see here. Uh, I don't think there's... I mean, I can send out this scavenger. I don't know why... Because this guy... I mean, why did I... Why do I have this guy here? Um, I really don't know. I'm going to send you off this way. Go ahead. Go on. Uh, and then I'm building... Okay, exotic rations. So this, I can do that and, and get 300 manpower. What is manpower good for? Alright, we got population scanning. Um, these are not overpopulated. Not really a normal population either, but this thing is running out of resources here. Yeah, it's almost depleted. Um... I guess I should see it's on that level there, so we'll have a look at life form. We'll study life form. We got a Zerg. I really want another. Oh, do not do this. Okay. I really want another one of these. I can't get it yet. Okay. I'll just have to be a bit more patient. I'm I'm really it takes 13 turns till we get one population. Okay. That's just gonna take a while. Got it. Alright. Let's end the turn. Nothing much happening at the moment. Okay, so now we've officially... We've, we've been... Oh, the Sophons! Okay! Welcome to the Sophonity. Uh, there are some among us who doubt your intellectual chops. Please prove them wrong. So these guys are really peaceful. I feel bad that I'm gonna have to enslave them all. It's just gonna have to happen, though. So this is where the Sophons live. Okay, they got the rival... It's a rival outpost. Uh, this is a colonizable planet that they don't have colonized yet. This is another with deciduous trees as a resource. So there we are. So these guys, yeah, it's uh, colonized by the um, the Sophons. All right. Um. Okay, and then two more colonizable planets. So I wonder, is that? Oh, wait, I saw some pirates though. A some yellow dudes so these are this is a detector so it's another exploration ship from the Sophons that's cool so we've discovered this part there's nothing going off this way so this I assume is the edge of the the uh, the galaxy that we can play with here you're gonna keep going off okay we'll have you go this way because we've discovered that now I think that was the original plan yep off we go I'm just kind of waiting for this thing to begin to get at least one one population so I can start getting two titanium. Am I getting that? Oh, I guess I am. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm already getting the titanium. It's kind of all I cared about because I want that zergling down there. And I need to come down here and kill this. Aurora waves? No. Let's see. I had a, a mission. Heroes? Uh... Sorry, I'm not also very used to the interface. Okay, so I've got diplomatic relations here. We don't know these guys, but we do know the Sophons. I can click on them, and I can introduce myself for free. And they... Don't like that. Okay. Why can't I introduce myself? Uh... All right, whatever. I guess that's just not something we, as the Craven, do. Really? I can't introduce myself? Suggest? Uh, interesting. So they won't take an introduction from me or something? All right, well, whatever. I don't understand it. I wanted to see my missions. I've got a mission in here. This is not my missions. Here we go. Uh, okay. That's... Where? I guess, let's see here. We must take action, break their spines. Well, it's in here. Which I guess is why it's doing that. Okay, got it. Uh, there's, let's see, nope, inhospitable all around. 
I can't really do much. I could take my hero and turn him into a governor, which would do what for me exactly? If I knew... I could do that, but I want him to lead my fleet. And I need one more turn until I can get another uh, Zergling. So let's go ahead and end the turn uh, with not much happening. Okay, so you got this guy here. What are you doing? Who are these guys? So this is a scavenger ship. Where are you going? Are you... Wait, who are you? I can't... Oh, this is... Let's see here. I can't tell it what to do, so that must be what I need to kill. Because I can't click on it. I would assume that's what's going on, or... Might be a bug, because we're in early access. Oh, whoa. Check that out. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow, look at that. So... I guess I go kill this thing. It's going to cross. I don't know what this thing is. First consuming horde. I thought this was the first cons- This is the crushing. This is the burning horde. Scavenger. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just have to- I don't know what that is, but- uh, Alright, fine. We can go ahead and get another zergling. I would like that very much. Can I- Oh, I can reorganize this. Okay. Okay, I want to get a fleet with two Zerglings, and then we'll start working on this other stuff here. Um, let's see, can I also... I guess we'll go to my heroes here, which is this. Okay, that's the wrong button. We'll assign them to a new fleet. Okay, which we can't do. Um, really? Okay. You can still upgrade, but nothing to upgrade yet. Alright, we're just gonna have to wait for a little bit. Okay. Ah, okay, here's the Sofon Empire. This is, down here, I think, is just a, uh, yeah, it's an outpost. That's, they've recently colonized that. And this is where they live, so I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Who are these guys? Reavers. Pirates. This guy's gonna die. Keep that guy going. This thing, I guess, is what I gotta... But I gotta go... I don't... I do not know what this is. It's a logistics... It's a... It's like a cruise... It's... I don't know. I can't click on that. And that's bizarre to me. But whatever. Who are these guys? Oh my god, there's pirates down here. Yeah, they got a prowler. No, oh, that's not good. They're gonna attack my city, and I don't really have anything to defend. How, how soon until this... Okay, the Zergling is done next turn. So we might be able to defend against a Prowler. I seem to have... No, this is my Prowler. But then there's this guy here. Alright, I'll just let you do what you're doing. We're gonna end the turn. Alright, Galactic Exchange is about done. There's that. Awesome, so, okay, I'm gonna keep you here, okay, all of a sudden, this isn't looking good, okay, uh-huh, so let's assign that guy to the fleet now, because we can, oh, what's this, once all your systems man power bars are full, any excess manpower will be added to your empire manpower. These reserves can be used for two purposes. To supply any newly built ship with, uh, let's see, with ground invasion forces and to replenish systems who uh, lose ground forces due to sieges or battles. To begin with, any active non-reserve manpower, whether it is stationed in system or on fleet, will be assigned to infantry. Later, when the liquid composites technology in era... 3 is researched. This manpower can be assigned to armor as well later. Once the right technology from a higher era is researched, air support will also be available. In this way, ground battles can become more sophisticated over time. Okay. So, we've got... I thought this guy was supposed to be... See, these guys are... This is my fleet list, apparently. 
So manpower. I've got 100%. Okay, let's research something. Let's go back up to our good old military stuff. Uh, I seem to have... Yeah, this is already done. So I... Um, okay. Got it. So autonomous construction does what? Gives us... Uh, tractable armaments, which is a system improvement, and a defense module for ships, I'm guessing. Improved... Okay, cool. So I can make better ships with that. That's kind of nice. Or do I want to focus more on... I mean, money's not such a big thing, I don't think. It's really... Yeah, like, exploration. Um, no, we're gonna keep going up here. Although, well, no, there's no point to that, I think. This will give us more weapons, which is kind of nice as well. And once we... Let's see, what's the path? There's not really a path upward. That's interesting, so I'm not sure how to get to level 3. Uh, I guess I need to just research one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, what's this? Let's see, plus 25% defending troop health and plus 250... Oh, maximum manpower stock. Okay, I'm starting to get this here. Plus 100 maximum manpower stock. Uh, but this also gives me 750 damage done to attacker during ground battle. To attacker. So I'm going to go ahead and get the defense. I think that'll be useful because I am sort of being killed by pirates right now. And we're going to take my hero and assign him to a fleet. It's going to be... The harvesting, I think. I didn't check my fleets, I guess. You are... Oh, create. There we go. First slaying fleet. Let's assign this guy as the commander. And I wonder if we can do battle with these guys here. I don't think... Well, these guys don't seem to be attacking. I think they're enemies, though. Yeah. One enemy fleet. So... But I can't kill him. If I do this... Uh, it doesn't really do much. Okay, so... Well, alright. We'll, we'll just see what happens, I guess. I can't... It doesn't seem that I can click on individual units to attack them. So I'll just have to let these guys do whatever they're doing. This guy has reached Satharus. Here is Satharus 1. It's an inhospitable frozen gas planet. But it's got unknown, new, ruin, unknown ruins curiosity. So let's see what we can find. We got, oh cool, 100 Empire Science Product. Great, so that'll help us out with our research. We researched that in three turns. Great, all right, let's head off, I guess this way. There we go. Okay, the, the world is growing here. I think the whole world is probably gonna be about that big. Which, compared to Civilization V, isn't very big, but I don't think this was supposed to be a very big one anyway. Um, is there anything I need to, to sort of... Victory and performance, so... Let's see, these guys... Let's see, controlled star systems. They're content. Um, it looks like maybe I'll need... I really don't know what this is. Maybe... Uh, conquest obviously seems to be the way to go. Bring many star systems under your control. So I can do the number of colonized planets up to t two? Oh, is this what I need to be able to... Nope. Oh, oh, oh. I see this. I don't... Up. I thought this was sort of like choose your policies. That's the Senate here. Okay. This is just an overview of how my, my entire thing's doing. So my economy, what's this? Uh, I can do trading. I can get wonders, apparently. That's kind of nice. And deeds. I don't know what a deed is, but okay. I got four population in my whole empire. Okay, I get this now. I know what this is. Got it. All right. That's cool. Have I ended the turn? No. I don't know who these guys are, but we'll go ahead and end it now. I don't think there's anything else we can do for this turn. And we'll see how... I don't know what is exactly going to happen. I don't know... Okay, these guys are just sending all of these... What is going on here? Well... How long until this other... Two turns? I might as well wait for the other Zergling to finish up. So we're gonna head on back. 
eventually. And I don't know what... Oh, you know what? This must be like trade or something. Yeah, it's a harvesting horde. Cargo, okay. So there's a... It seems to be like a trade route going between these two. Or is it supplying... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I had no idea what that was. So it's sending out little um, ships to go and give um, my colony food to my outpost. I like that. That's really cool. Okay, not much I can do here, I think. Uh, yep, you're on your way. Keep on going. We gotta discover the whole world. We discovered Rhea. Got Rhea 1. Uh, it's a tiny atoll. And it's colonizable, so that's good. A huge ocean planet. Lots of cool stuff to be found here. Nothing good there. And that's what we got. Now, gosh, I kind of want to do some of these things. So I'm going to take you off Auto Explore. And I'm going to have you head back because I really want to do some of these little uh, things. Um, what are they called? Curiosities. Because you get some good loot from them. I can build another Zergling if I so choose. I don't think I need to. I think perhaps I want to start getting um, like a drone net or something. So I think the more planets you have in a system, the faster the production goes, I would guess. Um, so that's interesting. The growth... Uh, how long until we... Let's see, does it say? We've got one population. Let's see, one population from Reg Regel are immigrating to this system. Ships containing one population at a time will arrive. So Regel, but I don't have anybody on Regel, do I? So what's this all about? It's colonized. What? There are people... Wait, who's colonized here? I don't know who lives here. I should send out a scout. I don't have one. Maybe I'll make another. Let's see here. Scavenger takes two turns to make. Uh, I've got, you know... Oh, wait, no. Even better. I'll just take this guy and go down here. That's what we'll do. Oh, this guy. He's crazy. I still gotta come down here and kill whatever that is, and I'll get something cool. So that's kinda nice. And you're gonna turn around. You're well on your way. I think we've done everything we can. We're gonna go ahead and actually end the episode there. It's been about 22 minutes, so... Uh, more development happening. This game is pretty cool. I'm starting to understand it, and, uh... It's, it's... I think the... Things are gonna get better as I learn more and more about this game. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!